Tonight, one Lexington woman made her national TV debut on the Food Network. She wasn't a contestant on the show, but instead an expert judge representing Kentucky on Buddy versus Duff. LX 18's Austin Pollock got an exclusive tour of what has led her to this sweet experience and this positively LX 18 story. We do this all the time for <laughs> mild, you know, just for fun. Outside Alex Naramore's home in Lexington, it looks like any other home. Flowers in the front, a garden. All the vegetables and herbs and roses and stuff are mixed together. In the back. And her pup Mocha often walks beside her. He's the sweetest girl that ever lived. Yes, you are. But it's her work in the garden and then in her kitchen that is a creative, colorful, and artistic craft. You make a perfect, beautiful base of a cake. You know, you stack all your tiers and you do all your stuff. And then you take those flowers and you make an arrangement. That arrangement is out of sugar flowers. Originally from Eastern Kentucky, she decided to study art, but always had an eye for the beauty of flowers. My childhood home had a rose garden, and that's why I love roses. So in order to make the cakes, like the ones you see here, it takes time, not a few hours, sometimes not even a few weeks. And I use all the flowers that I grow in the garden as live references to sculpt the sugar flowers. Every single, you know, imperfection and shade and shadow and highlight is, you know, custom created for that flower. Sometimes and most times it can take a month for each cake to be finished. There's a wait list. Is that safe to say? There is a often callback list or a like we can. I'm sorry. In her kitchen, her job is her hobby. Each cake is an entire piece of art. The layers are from scratch. The buttercream is from scratch. This is the recipe that I use for most every wedding cake. And of course, so are the sugar flowers. Her creative pieces have earned her the spot as an expert judge on the Food Network's Buddy vs. Duff. We interacted totally through the laptop and they would go on. I mean, the episodes be like eight hours to film each one. She could communicate in real time, all remote from her living room in Lexington. She says it's an honor to represent Kentucky. I would absolutely do it again. And says it's a reminder for others to follow their passion all the way through. I think you have to just dream and stick, like, hold steadfast to that dream and never really let it go. As for that cake you've seen throughout, I tried it and didn't want to put it down. Reporting in Lexington, Austin Pollock, LEX 18 News. Oh, that's unbelievable.